Valley Toilets have sent the toilets. Pretty much FOC. Very kind of them. Yeah, both landed. Wagon here now for the last load of oil seed rape of 2020 harvest. Get that loaded up out the way, and this shed then could be cleaned out completely. Ready for new season. It's a sad day because of the unique DVLA. We've now got to change that to that, which is really poor registration. At least we don't have to drive it around on trade plates anymore. So when you look back in years to come at the videos, you'll see two number plates on the combine and people think we've got two. Last bucket of rain, we'll see. 2020, now gone. Quick bucket change with the Mini Merlot. I want the bigger one. Off to Everton now, to their training ground to pick up some grass clippings. This is Finch Farm, so Everton's training ground. That's not where the players park, obviously. So we're going to empty the grass clipping bins because they've got horse flies in them. There he is. This is it. That one's obviously just been reseeded. This is what we're taking away. Because they cut the grass so often, it's like sherbet and it just rots really quickly and stinks. If you think bin juice smells bad, that's nothing to over fertilise grass. Trailer stinks. Anti vandal paint is classed as a pesticide because it keeps pests away. Well, this stuff is kind of similar. It stinks that much that we sometimes put it in sort of gates and uh, gateways or gaps and hedges where we get kids coming playing in the fields. A little dollop of this, we don't come back for the rest of the summer. John Deere tractor for all your John Deere fans. Maybe England should have practiced penalties and these little goals. And if they can score in one of them, they can score anywhere. To be honest, England's goalie in the Euros is the Everton goalie. I think he practiced it in a much bigger goal than this one down here. Just some little ones. But this is a full size one coming up here. It's huge. Not Bateman or Combine huge, but it's pretty big. Football pitch. Cracking field of weed. I wonder who's that is. Just strided this goal out, 23 feet long, and it must be eight foot high, maybe, could be nine. Random fact. In 2016, sorry, 20, oh, 2006, this was all farmland, and then they built that over there, which looks like a mega factory. That's obviously like a gym and different things like that. At the time, we were trying to get plan with Midgen to build where we built the bungalow, and the council said it wasn't allowed. Yet this is called was called permitted development at the time. Hmm. One rule for one, one rule for another. Shouldn't bone too much. We got it in the end. It just took like 15 years. Sure, Sam could do that quicker with the front flail. One, two, three, four, five little mowers. Look them for making the grass grow quick. Must be when they've got like a porch patch and a goal, they can put that on and bring it on quick. It's a smart place. I love how they've landscaped it to be fair. So it will eventually blend in. Here we have the John Deere 1570 with the Wessex 1.5 meter flail on. So we're gonna go and do the maze of it. Kindly donated to us by Turner Groundcut or Mike Hale, as he's better known, who works for them. Hey, Rab's on the mower. I mean, I mean Adam. Got his sun protection on. James is wide the traffic chip again. Sam's on TikTok. I really hate doing this, it's devastating mowing them all down, but we've got to make a path. And this is awesome. 
just mowing the path through the butterfly meadow at the maze. They're everywhere. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I go back round now, alternate extra five. It makes a nice path for the guess where. It'll have like a bunch of uh, weeds and jump up some ground on the top, hoping to stop it getting muddy. The path's done, I'm just going back over it now. Stephen's been with his drone and got a picture. Andrew's going around with his little JCB to make sure he can fit because we're going to put the signs in his bucket for the quiz. But he's got lost on the H of the NHS. So I've just had to send in the picture of the maze so we know how to get out. Here's the mail, I think it's nearly finished winding the track as well. I think the benches have arrived, the toilets have arrived, AstroTurf for the selfie walls arrived. I've finished mowing the path, put some wood chip here where the staff are going to be standing all day so it's better on the feet and it's heavy trafficked area. That's all done, got to go round, put all the signs out now and a little bit of pegging off of the car park as well. I think the Amazon man's been, this is all stuff to do with the sunflower maze. All that packaging to put two litter pickers in that are already in a box anyway. What a joke. Sam's just disappeared out of the yard to pick some straw up that's just been bailed. Jury picker's back, ready for uh, the entrance sign of the Sunflower Maze. We've got some signage, a compressor, that's the power that the stapler, more signage, and off we go to mark it all out, the quiz in the middle of the maze. Got a fast track breathing down my neck with one chip on, to do where the ice cream man's going. Mini Merlot, four bales of straw. We're gonna make a, a mini maze with bales of straw. That's looking really blue, apart from, for some reason, foams don't like to show it blue. Yeah, we're just bailing off the car park a bit better. We're gonna make a mini bale maze with this. Sam's here with another load of wood chip. James is gonna level that off now. Then we can put the picnic benches and everything in the right place. And where the ice cream man's gonna park because it's already got dusty in this gateway. So a slight bit of moisture will turn to mud. So we're going to make sure we've got the chip down first as last. Last track there. The old one, still not got the new one. Gary. I'll explain this while you can see the digger work in the background. James is just levelling some wood chip now. And do you remember yesterday, two load of barley went out? So we loaded one wagon and immediately loaded the second wagon, one behind the other basically. One went to Selby and one went, four, far, four farmers at Selby, and one went to uh, Massey Feeds, I think at Preston. Anyway, the first wagon full apparently was 15.2% moisture, despite us drying it to around 13 or 14%, and not taking it out of the dryer till it reached that in batches of 18 tonne. So there's no way it was 15.2%, which is what they've said. But because it was 15.2%, they want to not be one pound 50 a tonne off 29 tonne. So that's just over 40 quid. Now, most farmers will be like, well, more moisture meter is not that accurate. It's only one pound 50, whatever. Well, our moisture meter is accurate. So I'm going to challenge the claim because it's not on, because it's just taking a piss basically. So. I've emailed back saying no, I'm not having that. I rung up Massey Feeds that had the other load and that was 12.9%, so just under 13%. So like I say, there's no way it was 15.2. So either their moisture meter's out or they're trying to lift someone's leg here. So it happens all the time. Anyway, we'll challenge the claim and see what happens. So if you get a claim and you're sure it's dry, challenge it. James is levelling that there. Hopefully we can get enough wood chip to go past the toilets, put the picnic benches out, ice cream van there. These signs are now going up. And if you look on the horizon, it's hard to see, but there's the mini JCB. So they've basically got the, the stapler in the bucket and all the bits and bobs. They're going around, putting the quiz around the maze. And this is what I achieved with the mower. So we've got, zoom back out, start here, go around da -da 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 -da, through the butterfly meadow. Then we've got NHS written. Now, the reason it's there is because that's the sick bit, because that's the ones that didn't grow very well. And we've got a little heart, and then we carry on. Now, but what we might do, we'll see what the feedback is tomorrow. We may cut a shortcut in here for old people. Well, that's the uh, that's the maze. Tell them to take a picture as well, so they don't get lost, so we don't have to give them paper. 
because of COVID. Oh, there's another load of straw to help make the mini bale maze that's actually made of big bales. They don't look like they're in flower for me, but when you go in, they are. I'm not really into toilets, but I mean, I think they blend in quite nice in, a, in this environment, green and grey. They don't stand out like the luminous green ones that they normally have, or blue ones. So I'm happy about that. Don't forget, you need one. Small family business. Got a lot of straw anyway. Look at that. You take a picture of it and it takes you straight to the website. Got more signs as well. Don't forget. I wonder could I get one of them on the back of the combine? And when you take a picture of it, it takes you to the YouTube channel. Oh, by the way, loads of people say, I can't find you on Instagram. Agri contract, dead easy. Me and Adam now are making the maze, the mini maze. Just about to put the final bale in now. And we've finished, I can't remember how many we've used. We've used 42 bales to make the maze, the, the mini maze. Ta-da! Look at that! The selfie wall. Sad. Adam scuffing his drawbar. Not quite enough room to get around. Anyway, it's pretty much all set up now. Got that done. Just dotting a few bales out for people to sit on. There as well. Toilet's all there. Maze all sorted pretty much, just a few sides put down the drive in the morning. That's about it for today. We're just finishing off at the maze. It'd be great if some of you want to visit the maze. Don't know what you're all up to this weekend. Let me know. I'll be here. <laughs> um, if you want to watch another video, you click over there. If you want to subscribe, you click over there. That's about it for today. There's a great outro from Jack that he's done on Farm Simulator of the fence and the baler. So it's brilliant. So I'll see you all tomorrow.